One Conway man goes above and beyond to help his community, all while waiting for someone to help him. WMBF News Today anchor Lauren Korn and photojournalist George Hansen share his story in this week's This is Carolina. 62-year-old David Duck doesn't putt around, unless it's when he's playing golf three times a week. How are we doing? Sir, what's happening, man? Uh, Dave Duck. Or volunteering at Monday after the Masters. It's going to be a good shot. Where he works as hole captain for hole number three. It's on the green. While also collecting famous signatures on golf balls. This is my all-time favorite, signed by John Daly. And on hats. Uh, we have Woody Austin. When he's not okay, at the Lucky. links. Come, Come on. Come on. Jump up. Jump up. He's spending time with his dog, Lucky. <laughs> and helping his neighbors at Lakeside Crossings, a 55-plus community. I've done about 150 different wills for people in here. Uh, wills and uh, living wills and last will and testaments. Here I go. We have a putting green and a bocce ball court. I had those put in. He also runs a golf group in a billiards league. Everything I do is to better this community. That includes paying tribute to those who have served. Veterans mean something special to me. A 20-year Navy veteran himself, David created an honor wall at their clubhouse that plays 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Every veteran that moves into Lakeside, we give them the opportunity to take their picture, document their military service, dates of service. We put their picture up on the television screen. The screen is surrounded by a missing soldier table and plaques for each branch of service. When you see a veteran, you really need to say thank you for your service. And when you see a veteran that needs help, do what you can to help them out. While David fills his time helping others, he patiently waits for someone to help him. I'm number one on a kidney transplant list. David spends six and a half to seven hours a day on dialysis, showing us his supply closet. And this is the machine. Okay. And the machine that's been keeping him alive since December 2021. I have decided that dialysis will not control my life and will not slow me down. Oh, good ball. Instead, he keeps a positive attitude. And he signed. Even showing us a gift hat. he has for that person destined to be his lifesaver. I have another hat that John Daly signed for whoever gives me a kidney. And David says he'll continue focusing on what he believes matters most in life, community service. Dialysis doesn't have to control everything you do. If you'd like to learn more about MUSC's Living Donor Program and what it takes to donate a kidney, just find the story under the This is Carolina tab. And if you have good news to share, email goodnews at wmbfnews.com or message me on Facebook. In the studio, Lauren Korn, WMBF News.